Dragon Ball has returned to Toonami. Oh man, I'm still, I still have a big smile just from watching it last night. It was such a cool experience to be able to watch a new Dragon Ball series on Toonami. It just brings me back to my childhood. It was, watching Dragon Ball was very nostalgic for me. I was one of those kids that would come home from school and I would watch Dragon Ball Z as it aired on Toonami. So being able to watch Dragon Ball Super have the English dub premiere on Toonami on Saturday night was just a fun treat. It was a very simple episode, but I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I want to know from you guys, did you guys watch the Dragon Ball Super English dub episode one on Toonami? Uh, what was the experience like for you? Did it bring back certain memories of watching Dragon Ball Z on Toonami? Did you grow up watching Dragon Ball Z on Toonami? I definitely want to know what you guys have to think, but this right here is going to be my first impressions and review of just episode one of the English dub of Dragon Ball Super. So now, Dragon Ball Super, it, the first episode is not really complex. It's more slice of life. It just delves back into the characters. It gives a slight recap of the end of Z, which is really nice. So it kind of shows how it ties in to the end of Dragon Ball Z. And it kind of just shows us where our characters are right now. And of course, if you've been watching the subbed version over from, from over in Japan, you basically know the story that's been going on right now. We're about 70 plus episodes into Dragon Ball Super on the subbed version, but right now we're just one episode into the English dub. So this is very exciting for a lot of people here on the Western uh, Hemisphere in America, especially for me. So this is just really awesome awesome to see. The one thing that I really loved about watching it last night is being able to watch the voices of these characters that I used to watch in my childhood, especially Sean Schimmel, because Sean Schimmel is my Goku. No offense to everyone who loves probably the Japanese voice actors, but I grew up listening to Sean Schimmel as my Goku. He is my Goku, so I don't mean to offend anyone, but when, when I say like Dragon Ball Z, I think of Sean Schimmel as my Goku, whenever I played the video games, Sean Schimmel was my Goku. So it was just very nice to get back into the swing of things with him as the main character. Although not all of them actually came back to voice the characters. Now, I know that Kid Trunks, the voice of Kid Trunks, Laura Bailey, did not come back for Dragon Ball Super. But honestly, from watching the episode, and I, I actually wrote down the actress's name who did the voice of Kid Trunks, Alexis Tipton. Alexis Tipton was the one that voiced Kid Trunks, and all I have to say is it was a really good job. She did a fantastic job as, as voicing Kid Trunks because if I didn't know that that this, this was a new voice actress coming in to voice this character, it sounded exactly like Laura Bailey. It sounded like Kid Trunks. I mean, there was a few lines here and there where I could kind of tell it was a different voice actor, but being able to just hear his voice before he was on screen, I, I, I immediately listened to it and I was like, holy shit, she sounds exactly like the character. So I got to give huge props to Alexis Tipton for voicing Kid Trunks. She did a fantastic job. And you guys, if you have not watched it, go watch it and go see how well that she performed the voice. And let me know what you guys think of Alexis Tipton voicing Kid Trunks because I thought it was absolutely amazing. But overall, the episode was very simple. You had Goku basically working on a farm. He he can't train right now. Chi Chi's making him work for money. We have we get to actually meet Beerus and Whis. So if you have not been caught up with Dragon Ball Super and haven't been keeping up with everything, this will be your first introduction to Beerus and Whis. And also we got we got Mr. Satan and Boo. We got to see them once again. Mr. Satan is an hilarious character, and pairing him up with Boo is is just a funny experience. I was laughing as I was sitting there watching this episode, just watching Boo come storming in and just basically demanding that he wanted food. Gohan and Adele, uh, Gohan's being a scholarly. I know how people feel about Gohan. I'm not going to delve into that right now, but Gohan and Fidel are basically going shopping. They're married right now. And all I have to say is Gohan wins hands down. His wife is beautiful. Videl looks gorgeous in this episode. And we had Piccolo, you know, off in the distance giving us uh, just a grunt, but we can tell that he's stalking Gohan right now. He's, he's lurking in the back, but he's, he's watching over his adopted son, which is very nice. But uh, we didn't get any Vegeta in this episode, so I know we're going to get Vegeta in episode two, and I'm really looking forward to hearing uh, Chris Savitt voicing Vegeta in the next episode. That's going to be a highlight for the next episode for me. We also got a mini story in this episode with Goten and Trunks looking for a wedding gift for Fidel and Gohan, mostly for Videl, and we had a little story arc within this episode that played out into this more simple slice of life episode. Wasn't really much action. I mean, they fought a snake, but I don't really consider that action. It was just, you know, a nice little 
step into this world that we're going to be uh, stepping into with the English dub, and I'm really excited about that. And then, of course, the episode ends, as the title suggested, that Mr. Satan hands over 100 million zenny to uh, Goku for, you know, saving the world, because he was the one that actually put in the work and, and saved the whole world from Majin, Majin Buu, even though Mr. Satan was that one character that was able to get everyone behind Goku. So it was very nice to see that, and he's going to go off train with King Kai. So the episode was very simple. It... It uh, leads us into the next episode where Goku is now heading towards King Kai's planet, and I know that we're getting Vegeta next episode. So I want to know from you guys, what did you think of the of this episode, the, Eng the premiere of the English dub? Did you enjoy it? Did you watch it on Toonami? Did this bring back nostalgic memories for those old DBZ fans that used to watch Dragon Ball Z or even Dragon Ball on Toonami when it used to air back in the late, 80, late 90s, early 2000s? Um, so let me know in the comments down below about what you thought about this episode. I really enjoyed this episode, so I'm really looking forward to the next episode next week. So I'll be covering all of the English dub episodes of Dragon Ball Super on my channel. So if you want to stay up to date with that content, you can just subscribe to my channel and we can just geek out over the English dub of Dragon Ball Super. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the dub of Dragon Ball Super episode 1. And until I see you guys in my next DBS uh, video or any other video on my channel, uh, I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later in my next video. Alright, see you guys.